Good afternoon and welcome back to Cooking Kosher. As you all know, many of us have been dealing with a virus lately. And you know with a bacterial infection, you go to the doctor, you get an antibiotic and you feel better. But with a virus, what could you do? Well, we know from our Jewish tradition, chicken soup. But we've already made a Cooking Kosher about chicken soup. Well, it was our most popular video of all time, amassing more than 40,000 views and hundreds of comments from all of you. Well, today we're gonna to take our the best chicken soup and we're gonna make the easiest chicken soup and reply to many of your comments as well. Check it out. And this is everything you're gonna need for this easiest chicken soup recipe ever. First of all, we have our chicken legs. We have eight of them here, beautiful ones. And we also have some chicken bones that we this time have in a sack and boil bag, otherwise known as cheesecloth, just like was suggested on our last video by Ruhama G and Raven Blackhawk. Next up, we have some beans. We're soaking some kidney beans in water, and those are gonna be delicious. We'll add them in later. We have some herbs, some parsley, and also on the other side, some dill. Again, an extremely important flavor in chicken soup. And last of all, our aromatics. Celery, carrots, some big carrots, some onions. We have yellow and red onions. And then we also have a bulb of garlic back there. Just for some flavor, you see salt, pepper, olive oil, and you may notice no chicken stock this time, because just like the comments from Sherry D, Lily Toby's, E.L., Chamomile, and Darren A., we know that you can make chicken soup delicious without adding chicken stock, and we're gonna show you how. We have our carrots here. The kids have peeled them up. Now we're just gonna chop them up. Now remember, this is the easiest chicken soup recipe of all time, so we're even gonna chop the easiest way. Check it out. I got a nice bowl here that I'm gonna put all my carrots into. Man, I wish there was an easy way to get those carrots straight into the bowl like that. Hmm, let me think. Ooh, nice. Next up, we got our celery. We got a nice bowl for our celery. Let's just snap it up in there. This is fun. And here we have our two yellow onions and our red onion. We'll just chop them up kind of quick. And let's put our onions in a bowl. This is easy. And finally, let's chop up our garlic. Yeah, for some reason, garlic never seems to work. Okay, we'll do it the regular way. You could mince it finer than that, or you could leave large pieces. It all depends on how you like it. When you're done chopping the garlic, I got a nice bowl for that as well. There we go. And the main thing that makes this the easiest chicken soup recipe of all time is that we're just gonna throw everything in our big stock pot all at once. We're not gonna cook anything separately. There's no order, there's no rules. You just throw it in, add some water, put it on the stove, and let it go for a few hours. It'll be delicious. Let's get started right now. First thing, our chicken bones. Let's put them right in the bottom of our stock pot, okay? And you see we have them in our cheesecloth, that's just like our suggestion from our loyal viewers. And for those of our viewers who comment about how I didn't wash my hands after I touched chicken, I always do. It's just I don't show it on camera because that's boring to watch. So this one goes out to you, Mugu Guy Pan and Adam LB and Lynette Gopal. I just went, I washed my hands and I came back to add the rest of the ingredients. Here we go. Let's add in all of our carrots. Just shake them in. You could add your carrots in whole, or you could chop them up like I did. And then we're going to add in our celery. Just get it in there. Nothing fancy here. We're gonna add in our onion. Then we're gonna add in our garlic. I'm gonna go wash my hands again. And then we're gonna add in a big pinch of kosher salt. Really big one. This is a big pot of soup, so we're gonna need to add a lot of flavor here. For all those of you who said, why do we need to add chicken stock? Well, you don't. Add some nice aromatics, add some salt and pepper. You got plenty of flavor. Then we're gonna add some freshly cracked pepper. Once again, this is a big, big pot of chicken soup. You could add a lot. You don't need to be shy with it. And that looks great. 
And the last ingredient, usually you put in the extra virgin olive oil first, but in this case, because we're cooking it all together, we're gonna put it on top and let it kind of drip down. There's plenty of fat in the chicken, schmaltz, so you don't need too much of this. And now let's bring it over to the stove, add some water. Here we go. Now our sink has an awesome telescoping handle. We're just gonna turn it on with some cold water and fill up your pot really as much as you can. The more you fill it up, the more leftovers you'll have after Shabbos is over. If you see those rivets on the side of our pot, I usually go up to about the rivets, maybe a little bit above the rivets, just to leave room for some bubbling action. And that looks good to me. Shut off the water. I'm gonna take our pot over to the stove. Ooh. We're just gonna click on our fire to a nice high heat, cover it and wait for it to come to a boil. Once your soup comes to a boil like mine has, we're just gonna lower it to a simmer. We'll give it a little stir and just let it keep going a little bit. And as our soup is simmering away, perfect time to add in our chicken legs. Just kind of nestle them down in there in the broth. And we're gonna give them about a half hour, 40 minutes to cook. Our chicken legs are simmering away in there and it's time to add in our beans. As you could see, there's not much room left. Normally I would strain these into a colander, but I'm actually just gonna add in as much as I can fit. So I'm just gonna add in some beans here. We're gonna let those boil away. The kids have decided to take their showers for Shabbos as we're getting close to Shabbos. I'm just gonna add in as much as I can before this thing spills over and it's gonna be absolutely perfect. It's been about a half hour. We're gonna remove our chicken legs from the pan. We're gonna reserve them in a bowl and I'm gonna have the kids shred up the chicken meat, which will return to the pot. How you kids doing? Good. Getting good pieces? Yeah. See, they're just using two forks and they're shredding it up and then we'll put it back in the soup. Kids finished shredding up all our chicken. We got a nice little pile here. We're just gonna slide it back in. And we're just gonna give it another quick stir. You see, I still have those bones in there, still providing great flavor till the end. For the final step, we're gonna add in our fresh herbs. We have our dill here and our parsley. Just wipe down that knife. Be careful and stir that in. It's gonna provide a nice fresh kick at the end. I'm gonna taste this for seasoning. Nice clean spoon. Really nice. This could use just a tiny bit more kosher salt. Remember this time we didn't use any bullion or stock. And another little hit of pepper. Mugu Gai Pan and Adam LB and Lynette Gopal. You were all wondering if I'm using the same spoon for stirring and the same spoon for tasting. I never do. I always switch and I always clean it off very well in between to keep my soup sanitary. As our soup is simmering away and the flavor is filling the kitchen, I realized that I forgot to add in the bay leaves, which actually add a lot of flavor. So I've taken out the bones, which you could see our level of the soup has gone down quite a bit. But now I'm just gonna add in those bay leaves because as they say, it's always better late than never. So three bay leaves in, and we'll take three bay leaves out at the end. The most popular comment from our last video was, hey, Where's the matzo balls? Well, for you, Ellie Aslinski, Barbara Mintz, Janet Green, Carlos Garcia, and Alita Hall, this one goes out to you, some fluffy, delicious matzo balls. We have some matzo meal here, some seltzer, actually the bubbles in seltzer really, really give it a nice lift. We have a couple of eggs and some olive oil, and we're just gonna measure it out and get those in. So my hands are a little too big for this bowl, so I decided to get some smaller hands. Serena's gonna help me out. All right, Serena, grab those eggs. Straight in the bowl. Great, and grab your other egg, Serena. That was pretty good. Serena's gonna go wash her hands and she'll be right back. Oh, I hear her washing her hands. Next up, we're gonna add in a quarter cup of seltzer. Okay, so grab the seltzer. You gotta be really careful when you open your seltzer. Don't make it explode everywhere. Oh, oh look at those bubbles go. So we're gonna add in about a quarter cup of seltzer. So this is a half cup measure. So I'll hold it over. You're just gonna fill this half cup up about halfway. Looks good. You wanna put it in? Yeah. 
add in a little bit of oil. So just grab the oil and just kind of turn it over, add in a little bit of olive oil. Um, that looks good. It's perfect. Now before we add our matzo meal, we're just gonna take a fork and we're gonna whip it up. Hold the bowl while you do it. Um, very important you don't use a whisk for this. Even though a whisk may whisk it up better, you really don't wanna over whip this and overwork this. So just use a fork, it'll keep it lighter. Perfect, that looks great. Now we're all combined. And our last ingredient for the matzo balls is matzo meal. And we're gonna pour it into our half cup measure. Can I pour it in the bowl? Yes. We're just gonna fill it up all the way. Why is it crumbly? Because it's matzo pieces. Take your fork again and just mix that together. Don't over mix it, just mix it together. It smells like matzo. That's matzo meal. <laughs> Just get all that incorporated and then we'll form our matzo balls. Yay! One last ingredient to add in, just some salt and pepper for flavor. And some pepper. I feel like it's pizza already. I love cooking with you. Thank you, Serena. Don't over mix it, Serena, very gently. And then we're gonna let it rest a little bit to firm up. See you in a bit. Hey guys. Hi. You guys ready to make our matzo balls? Yay! Okay, so let's take our spoons. Everyone take a spoon. Take about a spoonful of the mix. It's now firmed up a little bit. Whoa. Both kids have thoroughly washed their hands, right kids? Yeah. Right, just we gotta be water. super safe now. Okay, Joshy, just a little bit on your hands. Right all over just rub that into your hands. Serena, rub that into your hand. Oh. Rub that into your hand. <laughs> Start forming your balls into balls. Don't squeeze them, super, super light. Just roll them like super light into balls and then place them on your plate. Is this good? Yeah, that looks great. Okay, take another one. Is this good? Yeah, don't make them too big, about the size of a golf ball, because these are gonna good? absorb liquid and they're gonna expand. You'll see they'll each end up with about five or six. That should be perfect. These are nice ones. Josh has got a really gentle technique now, you can see, that's perfect. Joshy, how many matzo balls did you make? Five and a half. Five and a half, how about you, Serene Chick? I made one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. You guys ready to cook them? Yeah. Let's go. I've moved our simmering chicken soup back to the back burner, and you could see I have a nice pot of boiling water here on the front. We're gonna use this to cook our matzo balls. Now you may ask, why not cook your matzo balls just straight in the soup so they could pick up all that flavor? Well, that's actually the biggest problem because if you put your matzo balls in the soup, they're gonna really soak up all the flavor and you're gonna lose all your soup. So cooking in a pot of boiling water, they'll soak up the water, they'll expand a little bit, and then we'll drop them in our soup after that. So just drop them in. And if you made them right with seltzer and not overworking them, then they should float and be really nice and fluffy. You see, I have some bigger matzo balls. Those are the ones that Joshi made. And I have some little tiny ones. Here's a big one. And here's a little Serena one but they all taste delicious. And they're gonna cook in about 30 to 40 minutes. We'll check back and we'll pull them out. If you want your matzo balls to cook fully, best to do it with a lid. Keep it covered, they'll be delicious. It's been about 30, 35 minutes. I think our matzo balls are ready. Let's take a look. Oh my goodness, they have plumped up so much. Look at how happy they look. We are just gonna take a little slotted spoon here, roll them around a little bit. I did this a few times while they were cooking as well. If they're floating like this, you definitely did something right. So all I'm gonna do now is just take these matzo balls out, reserve them in a little bowl, and then we'll serve them alongside our soup. And the last one, oh, it's a big one. Let's go serve it up. Delicious homemade chicken soup. We're gonna stir it up a little bit with our ladle. Oh, that looks so yummy. But the only thing that's gonna to top it off and make it perfect is matzo balls. <laughs> Thank you to all of you for your comments. You guys wanna serve yourself a matzo ball? Sure thing. I promise they got so much bigger. Oh yeah, they fluffed up. Look at that size. Josh definitely that. made that one for sure. Let's serve up a little bit of soup in each oh, of yours. Yeah. My chicken soup is really dense and hearty. Oh, we got a bay leaf in there. You wanna take that out, Josh? Ooh-hoo. I got wow. a special bowl here that I made a pottery, so that's why it looks so much different. So some chicken soup. soups are totally clear and just like a broth. I like to make it hearty like yep. a meal. Should we try this bad boy? Well, wait. Oh, Serena, you got a Bay leaf. Take that bay leaf out. Huh. Guys, you want some water? We're gonna want to drink some water. water for Corona water. 
Good point. We talked in the beginning of this video about how a lot of people lately have been dealing with a certain virus, namely the coronavirus. Well, whether or not you're sick or you have relatives or friends that are sick, it's very important that you stay hydrated, stay home with your family. This is a perfect time to spend some extra time with your family, especially this guy. He's really hungry. You guys want to taste this? Yeah. We're going to make two brachas. First, we're going to make a bracha mazonos uh, on the matzo ball. Okay. Then we're going to make a bracha shahakal on the soup. I you ready, guys? Baruch, atah, Adonai, Eloheinu, melech, haolam, borei, minei, mazonos. Oh! That's really awesome. That's actually so good. That tastes it's like super delicious. Why are you surprised when it actually tastes I don't good? know. You realize this is cooking kosher, right? Shahakol time. Let's make a shahakol on the soup. Baruch atah Adonai Elohim melchalam shahakol nehiyeh bedbaro. Mmm, this is so good. This is really good. You like it with the matzo balls instead? Mm hmm I don't usually make matzo balls. They're a little less healthy than just having the soup the way it is. But we wanted to respond to all of your comments and we want to thank you for writing into the show. Now that and is we wanted good. to make those matzo balls for you guys. Oh, this is yummy. It's so fluffy. I know. Mm. The matzo balls are fluffy, but the soup is like salty and tasty. You guys mm. think we need chicken broth in here or you think it's still mm -hmm. just as good? We need a chicken broth. Mm -mm. I need it right there. Thanks to you guys at home, we made this chicken soup according to your recommendations, and this is the easiest chicken soup that in the world to make. Matzo ball. Really good. <laughs> guys, what's your favorite part of the soup? The matzo balls. The chicken. Really? It's so good. All right, guys, let's make a lachayim. Raise your glass. To spending extra time with your family at home, and to health, and to long life, and all good things. Make a lachayim, everybody. Lachayim. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us for this episode of Cooking Kosher, where today we made the easiest chicken soup in the world to make and matzo balls, which obviously Joshi loves and Serena loves too. Like this video, comment below, let us know what you'd like us to make for you next. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and we'll see you next time. Bye. Take care. Stay safe. Stay healthy.